Hi everyone. So now we can see that uh, our GraphQL server is running. This is the GraphQL server and this is the client. Okay. I just started the GraphQL server and this is our client. Right. I just started the application and there is no major code change I have done. Okay. I created a simple component, app component, and I am mounting this component using this Apollo provider. Right. And we can test this connection. This is the WebSocket connection. This is the HTTP link connection. And we can test this connection here on the browser. You reload this page and we can validate uh, the WebSocket connection is happening or not to the server. And this is the same our server and everything is fine. Acknowledgement is received. This is just to validate. Okay, everything is working fine. We are able to connect to HTTP link. And here this is our server, right? The same GraphQL server which we were discussing in our previous videos and this is the documentation here we have a subscription here we have mutations like create post list of users list of posts and then subscription like you can subscribe uh, the post post subscription so all the changes ha are happening in the post like create update delete you will be able to handle that you will be able to catch that at the client side through the WebSocket. Okay, now it's time to write some of our components at the GraphQL client side. So we will create a couple of folders here. Let's say the first folder we are creating is the GraphQL, where we will put all our query, mutation, and subscription. And another folder we can have a container. And then all our components. So in the components, let's say we are going to have a post list component that that will allow us to create a new post list all the post and all these things. So we will write our first app component here. Let's say container app. Here we are going to have app.js. Let's say. And I mean, it, you can create a folder app folder inside that you put that app.module.css okay in the app.js a lot of things we are going to write uh, but the basic form we need so we are going to use a react bootstrap i think we already have added it react bootstrap we have that will help us to create a simple forms right so we are just importing all these things so here we have Apollo react hooks use query and use mutation all these components to build the simple uh, post form where you can actually add the information and, and create post. So you need the post title body and one checkbox maybe so all the things we are importing right now we need to think about what all queries we need right we are looking for listing down all the post and creating a new post. So let's say if we talk about the queries, so there is a GraphQL folder. Here we will do queries.js and we can also create mutation. Mutations.js and there is subscriptions also. Subscriptions.js and let's combine all these things in the index.js. And first we will talk about our mutation or query. Let's say what query we want to trigger. So first we have to import a GQL from Apollo client. Okay. What happened? Okay, sorry. This is import GQL from Apollo client and now we will just say in export const this is a post query which we are going to trigger and just wrap it in the gql here you can write your query okay what my query looks like inside my query i have all the list of posts and i wanted to get their title this is how we define the query at the client side i mean in the same query we 
you we have already used in the, the graphql client or on the browser i mean and from the author you wanted to get the name and if it is published or not right this is our query and same query we have seen on the browser also i mean let me use my favorite client this is this we can use to play around with these queries and mutation okay this is loading and here we are this is the documentation and i will go to the queries the list of posts add query i mean you can pass the the query or you can keep this empty okay from the author i need name from the comment i don't need a comment information let's run this query okay we got the data this is what we need right so what is our query look like this is our query we can copy this and paste it here uh, where is our react editor this become our simple query i mean we can just think about simple indentation so this is our query this is about um fetching the list of all the posts okay i'm going little slow here because i need to cover all these things now we can talk about the mutation which is talking about uh creating a new post right so if we go here we have already covered all these things mutation create user update user create post okay in this mutation we have to pass this data which is of type uh create post payload right here we have create post create post input it contains all these arguments title body published we have to pass all these things okay this is the the kind of structure we are going to have for mutation we will add all these payload so let's add this in the mutation so this is our mutation let's add this in the we can copy few things from here yeah post mutation let's call it as a create post mutation specific because there can be a mutation for update uh create post mutation and here instead of query now it will be mutation and method name is create post now we need to pass the arguments right so this query is little different here this is our payload and here we will pass all the arguments inside this uh, okay so let's say i have all the arguments i have passed and after that this is create post and inside create post i am passing all this data inside the data attribute this is a json object okay so let's say how we are going to pass is here i have a title this is like a alias i'm creating which is of type string i also need to define all these types at the client side okay we have four attributes another thing is the body which is of type string then we have published which is of type boolean and then finally we have author id which is of type id okay these arguments you will pass and we are returning this create post this is the mutation we have so we just pass all the data like title body published from the the function and what all things we are returning from here all the things like title body author name and published this is what i'm returning so this become my mutation at the client side okay now i think this should be more structured create post these are the arguments and this is this is our mutation which we are talking about right if we go to this client let me make it full screen 
here also we are doing the same thing this is the mutation we are passing titles and we are passing body which is again of type string then we have published which is of type boolean and then we have author id which is of type i think this is simple author and we are just passing the author id and here from author i need to return the name comments i don't need it so this is my actual mutation and how i replicated it here just by defining it inside another function right because these are the dynamically passed arguments so we created the alias and then we are passing this dollar title dollar body published and author id okay this is about mutation and query then we have subscription also subscription is simple we are looking for post subscription so whatever is happening in the post we wanted to listen to those subscriptions like whenever the post is created we wanted to react to it so here it is post subscriptions okay inside this if we just go to our subscriptions what all we have we'll just copy it here subscription post subscription add query this is simple subscription i have things from the data i can get uh, okay what all attributes we have id title all these things this is the post payload which you are updating deleting or creating this is my simple subscription i will add this in the code so could i just simply do this subscription post mutation yes this become my subscription right so now i have a query mutation and subscription added from my graphql apis right now the only thing is left is triggering the subscription and populating the list of posts creating post through the through the form right and first of all just import all these things together so this is our index.js we'll import all these things post query post mutation and subscription okay let's do the integration uh, let's do the actual call using use query and use mutation uh, in the next video